Good evening and hello. Shalom Aleichem. Assalamu Alaikum. Buenas tardes. Hey everybody. Um, today is a bit of a milestone for me. Uh, this is my 100th upload um, onto the YouTube platform. Now, while I am light years behind other people, it is a milestone for me, and I am pretty proud of it. Um, and I thought to myself, well, if I am going to upload uh, a milestone video, I want it to be something something new. Um, and whereas I have read the Psalms and other uh, uh, things on my channel, um, today I am going to take a look at a very critical piece of the prophets. What you are looking at uh, in front of you um, is an open Tanakh to Yeshayahu Perik Nu, or Isaiah chapter 56. Now, a little dad pawn here. I can't help myself. I did mention that I'm going to offer something new. So in numerology, uh, 56 is a combination of the letter Nun and the letter Vav. Nun is equal to 50, and the Vav, the symbol of a man, is equal to 6. Therefore, Nu. Nu. You get it? Maybe not. Hebrew dad joke. Okay, I don't want this to be long, uh, so let's dive right into it. I want to make three points here, okay? Reading a little bit of this text. We're not going to read the whole thing. But point number one will be, I want the text to answer who, just who is invited into the family of yud Hey vav Hey. Who is invited to quote-unquote be a Jew, a Judean, or an Israelite? Who's invited? That's number one. Number two, number two, um, what are the prerequisites or the requirements? What are the prerequisites or requirements uh, in order to get into that family? Not the edicts of men, okay, not the tradition of men, whether it's ancient and old or whether it's something brand new, that people like you and I, uh, people that look like me, uh, have come up with, okay? But these are the expectations of the Most High, because remember, it's what he thinks. That's what uh, uh, is, is more important than anything. And then finally, point number three is, what are the perks? What are the perks that comes along with that? Let's jump right in without hesitation. So it says here, at the opening of Isaiah chapter 56, okay, it says, Ko amar Adonai, Shimru Mishpat. Okay, so thus saith Yud Hey Vav Hey Adonai Yehovah Yehovah. I pronounce it Adonai. So be cool. All right. It says Shimru Mishpat. It says to guard judgment or uh, to guard righteous judgment. Vasut Staka. And do righteousness. Why? Ki Krova Yeshuati Lavo. Ki Krova, because coming soon or close. Yeshua Tilavo, my salvation is to come. My Yeshua is to come. Yeshua, hint, hint, hint. Okay. Keep going here. Um, and then it says, Vitsitkati lehigalot. And my righteousness, lehigalot, to be revealed. Lehigalot. So you listen to that word. Lehigalot sounds like gal, which is a wave. Sounds like golel, which means to roll, or galil, like the Galilee, or even. The Aramaic word, Golgotha, okay? Because to reveal something means to roll, that it rolls, okay? Kind of like a stone a couple thousand years ago that rolled away and it revealed an empty tomb. Okay, that's a different video. We can't go there, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Okay, so let's look at who's invited. Let's go to point number one. Let's look at who is invited. The text deals specifically with promises to two unlikely groups. Are you ready? Ben Hanechar. Ben Hanechar. The son of a foreigner, literally a foreigner and or an alien. Ben Hanechar. Okay? So now, that's one uh, people group or person type that's invited. And drop down to here and we'll talk about both of them. The other one is Hasaris, Hasaris, the eunuch. Now, if you think of a foreigner and you think of the way they were described in the text by the people of Israel, they were known as Klavim. Kelev in Hebrew is a dog. 
Kelb in Arabi, Bil Arabi. Kelb, okay, so Klavim. So you remember David Melech, King David, said that he was surrounded or encompassed by the dogs, okay? Ouch. And then even Yeshua HaMashiach, Melech HaMashiach, King Messiah Yeshua, also in his encounter with the Syrophiniki woman, he said, it's not meat for me to give the bread of the children to the dogs. So this is how foreigners were looked upon by a lot of Israelites, okay? Or this is how they were called. How about the Saris? Okay, you know, I don't have to go Anatomy 101 here. The eunuch is missing, you know, a few things. All right, so he's considered unclean, less than a human, less than a man, okay? Uh, but here are promises specifically out to uh, foreigners, Ben Anichar, and also to Hasaris. I want you to notice this word here, though, before I move on. Hanilva. Hanilva. Nilva should sound familiar to you. Nilva, Leva, Levi. This is where we get the word Levi or Levi. The Leviim, the priest in X, Y, and Z. It means to attach oneself. So, Ben Hanechar Hanilva. So, to the foreigner who will attach himself, there are promises made. Okay, moving on along expeditiously. Point number two. Now that we've covered who's been invited to the party, who's been invited to be a part of the family. Number two, what is required of them? What's required of them? Okay, let's start right here. Okay, this is in verse uh, four, I believe. Uh, it says, Ko amar Adonai lasarisim. This is what Adonai has said to the eunuchs, Asher yishmeru et shabtotai, the ones who will guard my Sabbaths, plural, et shabtotai, okay, Uvahuru, uvahuru, ba'asher hafatsi, and who will choose that which I delight in, and then finally, umahazikim bivriti, and who will clutch, clasp, or cling on to my covenant to grasp it, to grasp it. Okay, if we drop down uh, for a little bit, I want to show you what he says specifically uh, to. The foreigner, who is also in the same boat. Uvne hanichar, it's plural now. Uvne hanichar hanilvim. So here's the same word, okay, hanilva, it's singular because ben hanichar, the foreigner is singular. Okay, but if you come down here, because it's plural, vne hanichar hanilvim. So to the foreigners who will attach themselves, al Adonai le charto, who will attach themselves to Yudhe Vavhe to serve him. Ule ahava et shem Adonai, and to love the name of Yudhe Vavhe, lihiot lavadim, okay, and to be to him for servants, lavadim, ebed, ebed, okay, abd, kol shomer shabbat mehalelo, all who preserve the shabbat from profaning it, u mahazikin bivriti, and grasp on to my covenant. Those are the prerequisites. Not man-made edicts, not all of these other things. Now, of course, halacha would come along later, sure. But I am pointing out here in my new segment, by the way, that I failed to mention, called Uncut Hebrew. Uncut Hebrew. It just gives you straight book. Bli tosafot, without additions. Bli mishmarim, and without preservatives. It's not needed. It's straight book, okay? So those are the requirements. And the final point, final point. The third point is this. What are the perks? What are the perks of joining this family? Well, I'm going to sneak this down a little bit. Sneak this down a little bit because you absolutely cannot miss this. You absolutely cannot miss this. What are the perks of being a part of the family? Cheat down a little bit more here. What are the perks of being a part of the family? Okay, first of all, to be a janitor in the house of the Most High, uh, that's great. I'll take that. A little bit more cheating here. A little bit more cheating down here. What are the perks? Well, here they are. This is the Most High speaking through Yeshayahu, his prophet. And he says, And I will cause them to come, El Har Kodshi. I will cause them to come to my holy mountain. 
What else? And I will rejoice over them in the house of my prayer. That's another video as well. Olotehim veziv heim. Their, their uh, Ola offerings and their uh, other offerings. They will be welcomed. Okay, they will be welcomed in or on my uh, altar. And then notice this last part of this verse. This is a famous piece of uh, scripture that Yeshua quoted when he had, uh, dare I say, a temple tantrum. Temple tantrum, get it? Uh, it was holy nonetheless. But he braided a whip out of cords and he beat down dirt bags and threw them out of his father's house because he fulfilled the scripture saying that zeal for his father's house would consume him. But right here, this is why uh, these offerings from the eunuch and from the foreigners will be gladly accepted on his altar. Okay, and he will rejoice. And he will rejoice over them. Why? Because my house, my house will be called, what? A house of prayer. Lechol ha'amim. Lechol ha'amim. To all nations, to all people groups. To all people groups. So listen, in closing, there's one last part of this that I think drives this entire point home. And I'm going to cheat this back up a little bit. I'm going to cheat this back up a little bit. And it drives this entire point point home. And I think it falls perfectly in line. It finds it falls perfectly in line with the words of Paul when he talks about and the wild olive tree and the roots and the branches and not boasting in X, Y, and Z. Don't get stuck on yourself. Don't get caught up in the cult of personality or the politics of identity. Okay. Paul's version, of course, is in the Brit Chadashan, the New Testament, but this is the Tanakh, the Tanakh's version of Catch yourself. Calm down. Don't get stuck on yourself, okay? Because this is what he promises to the eunuch, less than a human being, less than a man in the eyes of some. This is what he promises to the foreigner who is called a dog by some, even to this day, and considered that by a lot of people. Even a lot of us who are coming into knowledge of identity and losing our minds, okay? Here's what it says. Venatati lahem beveti uvehomotai. Venatati lahem beveti. And I will give to them in my house uvehomotai and within my walls Yad Vashem. Yad Vashem. If you ever wondered where the name for the Jewish memorial, Holocaust memorial in Jerusalem gets its, its name, right here. He says, I will give them Yad Vashem. Yad, which is a hand, but can also be a monument, okay? A marker of significance. I will give them, who what? Uh, let's see, Yad Vashem, Tov Mi Banim Umi Vanot. Check that out. I will give them a monument and a name better than the sons and daughters. Better than the natural born sons and daughters. Yad Vashem, Tov Mi Banim Umi Vanot. Shem Olam Etenlo. An eternal name I will give to him, Asher Lo Yikaret. An eternal name I will give to him, which will not be cut off. In closing, brothers and sisters, you have just heard the word of the Most High through the mouth of his prophet, Yeshayahu. And the question has been answered, who's invited? Number one, whoever is considered the lowest of the low, B'day Nechar Sarisim. So the foreigners, and the eunuch. Number two, what's expected of them? Bare bones minimum. To love his Shabbat, to keep their hands from doing evil and not to profane it, to love his name, to cling to his covenant, and to choose those things which he delights in. And then finally, what are the perks? The perks is that you're going to get a name and a monument even better than the sons and daughters. You will be brought to his holy mountain, invited into his house, and all of your sacrifices will be accepted because his house is to be a house of prayer for all nations. I hope that you found this video of some use, encouragement, exaltation, education, 
push back, beat me up in the comment section, whatever. But if you did enjoy this video, I'm humbly asking that you would like it and give other people an opportunity uh, to see it. And then also to prayerfully consider uh, subscribing to this channel. Much love and appreciation to you all. And until the next time, Shalom Lachem.